I'm Jason. I'm Alex. And we are The, the Gay, Gay Press. Press. Today we are discussing Yargos Lanthimos's The Favorite, starring Emma Stone, Rachel Weiss, and Olivia Coleman. Mm. Queens! Literally, yeah. there's a queen. The Favorite is about Queen Anne, played by Olivia Coleman, who in the 1800s is ruling England. She has gout. That has prevented her from being a competent queen. Rachel McAdams plays Lady Sarah. She is running the show behind the scenes. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes her cousin, Lady Abigail, played by Emma Stone, who is a climber. There is a love triangle, it is gay, and there are schemes. I'm obsessed with the queens. As we said, there is a literal queen in this film, but this movie is just about the three women in it. Rachel Weisz, Emma Stone, and Olivia Colman are all absolute perfection. They play amazing characters. They give earth-shattering performances, and the whole movie is based around these women's worldview. They have all of the power in this England. They run everything. There are men in this movie, but the men are literally just pawns for the women to use against each other. One thing about the characters, I leaned over to you and said this, I feel like it's become like, it's gonna be the new like, who are you from this? And yeah. it's like, like I spent the movie being like, I am, I want to be as cunning as Emma Stone and I think I'm a Rachel Weisz, but like, I'm straight up Olivia Coleman. I'm a mess. So I'm obsessed with the world of Yorgos Lanthimos. This movie, he doesn't have, it's not solely from his world and it still is this madcap, crazy, outrageous, like, to the wall madness. And we actually had to have a discussion about like, who we thought we should highlight. Literally, they are all equally as tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, but we decided to go with the one with the more, the more uh, accessible work. Yep, that. So we are gonna honor Emma Stone. Number five is what? Ooh, Battle of the Sexes. It was the first time I'd seen her in something where I was like, oh, this is not what I'm used to expecting from you. Right. All I have to say is gay. Also gay! Number four is Birdman. Number three is Easy A. This is the opinion of charisma. She's delightful. She's delightful. Number two is this film, The Favorite. Yeah. Cunning, cunning, evil woman. And number one. Number one is La La Land. It's so obviously her movie and it's such a lovely movie, but like without her, it's a concept. She makes me cry every time. She brings it. To Emma Stone. Oh, what a queen. To keep on, like keep on with this. <laughs> I'm gonna give a little bit of encouragement for Emma Stone. Sweetie, Jason thinks you're doing good. Keep going. As we said, this movie is all about women, but... Oh, but there are hunks in powdered wigs. There are. And mine is, like, a hunk of all hunks. Mr. Nicholas Holt. He is so funny in this movie. He's such a dipshit. <laughs> like, that's the word I would use to describe him. Even with, like, the makeup and, like, the giant wig, like, ooh, I'd like to, He's great. I'd like to get in a dark corner with him. The sort of, like, leading man role is played by Joe Alwyn. Oh, Mr. Taylor Swift Boo Boo. Okay, like I didn't know this, like I, I sort of want to retract now, but like he's really cute and he's sort of like puppy eyed, like going after one of them in the movie and it's cute and when he takes his wig off, he looks good. Okay, the first thing, obviously best picture, this is... Yeah, I think this is definitely gonna be Yorgos' first movie to really break into those Oscar categories. I am wired with love for this movie. The more we're talking about it, I'm just like, I can't believe I just watched something. This is my Avengers. Obviously best picture, but also the actresses. They've decided yeah. Olivia Coleman is lead. I think the Emma Stone technically is, but I don't want to ruin their chances. Yeah. Emma Stone, Rachel Weisz. Thank you, giving Rachel Weisz the chance to get nominated for an Oscar after 13 years! I hope, and I can see director and screenplay as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Also, shout out, and I would love for it, I don't think it'll happen. I actually think Nicholas Holt deserves a nomination. He was so great. 
guess what? This movie's gay! I feel like it's been so long since we've seen gays touch Ooh. each other in a movie. One thing about the gayness I'll put in the detractor is that it's more of a power incentive and a power mm -hmm. move, but it's also not really a thing. Mm -hmm. There's no conversation, there's no <gasps> queen yeah. ends a lesbian, like no. It's literally like, oh, that's how I can get to her. Maybe they love her, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. Also, all the positive portrayals of sex in the film are between women. All of the times that sex between men and women is involved, it is either darkly shaded about how bad it is, or it is shown to be really bad. I give this movie a royal five gay press stars. That's hella gay. Ooh, it's super gay. Ooh. And then as a movie itself. As a movie itself, we're gonna give it a four and a half. We both love this movie. Oh. It's amazing, it's hilarious. Please see it.